What's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Western Wednesdays, your favorite shoe reviewer. This week I'm giving you guys a nice close look at the Nike Epic React Phantom Flyknit running shoe from, like I said, Nike. Okay, this shoe obviously I'm really excited about. When I got it in, first off, I'm going to talk about the price again. I've been on this roll the last few weeks of scooping up shoes for really good deals. This shoe for retail comes out $150. At Hibbit Sports is where I cop these shoes at. I got it for $60. Now that's a steal in my opinion. And now looking at these things online, I just I love the way that they look. Obviously with the fly knit multicolor mixed in with the dark gray. Then you have the nice React cushioning, which is great. If you haven't tried it out, you guys need to scoop that thing up. Cool little heel cup. Uh, and then the actual laceless okay, uh, technology that they provided for this easy slip in. Um, was something I was really intrigued on. Um, I wanted to see how it was going to perform for a running shoe. Now, with running shoes, with the laces, you can really customize the, the fit. So I was curious to see how this thing would actually perform uh, and how, how it would actually feel on my foot. Now, starting with the traction, I want to talk about that for a few minutes. They actually do provide over the actual midsole, which is cushion, um, the React cushioning. Uh, they provide a these ru rubber inserts at the toe box and the heel uh, for added you know, traction with the rubber outsole, then it actually transitions into this React cushion. Now, I said a little bit earlier, if you guys haven't tried React cushion, it's really nice. It's a nice, plush, comfortable, uh, responsive cushioning. They put it on quite a few of their shoes. I've had it on a couple different shoes. I really like it, it's lightweight. The feel is great. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely scoop it up. That's kind of why the shoes for running shoes for React are a little bit more expensive. So if you can scoop up a shoe with React cushioning for 60 bucks, they still have these on here with different colorways. Make sure that you guys cop those. I'll try to leave a link in the description below for Hibbit where I actually scoop these up. So you guys can check that out. Now, React cushioning, there's like I said, a lot of mobility, it's lightweight. The actual upper is it's a full knit upper, multicolor knit with a black, gray, uh, background so it actually really uh, transitions from you know the colors and it looks really good against each other it's nice it's really cool comfortable there's mobility flexibility and it's actually pretty well knit at certain areas so the durability I think is gonna be really nice okay there's an actual heel cup at the back uh, it's like a multicolor, almost looks purple at certain lights, but it changes different colors, okay? But that's for actual lockdown, and there's an actual internal heel counter as well, okay? But that look, it actually gives you a pretty cool look. You have a nice little Nike sign on the lateral and medial side. The one thing I do want to talk about, which is the most important part of this shoe, is there's no laces, okay? Hence the phantom uh, name of the shoe, okay? Now, trying the shoe on, it's really easy to slip on. I mean, you grab these, this toe loop, heel loop, your foot slides right in. It makes for easy access in and out. Now, however, the problem with this, I felt like it does not fit as secure as I would like it. And especially if you're gonna be running a lot, um, it's nice to have laces to where you can really customize that fit. Now, as far as the length, it is true to size, but if you have a skinny foot, foot? a skinny foot, uh, I have a skinny foot, there's a little bit more movement in this uh, upper, okay? So if, you're, if your foot's a little bit wider or, or fatter, uh, like a higher rise from, from the bottom, it might fit a little bit nicer. Now, if you have a little bit skinnier foot, you could try this on in stores, but if not, you might wanna try half a size down. For me, the length is very important, so what I'll probably end up doing is wearing two socks, possibly, uh, to take up some of that dead space. So it is secure, so I can like, you know, obviously get to the point I like it as far as the fit's concerned. But overall, pretty cool. I like the, obviously I like the concept, but just tamper your expectations when you're dealing with stuff like this, especially with running shoe, because you can't customize the fit without the laces, all right? But other than that, the shoe's extremely nice. Like I said, the shoe, it retails for 150, which like I said, with the React cushion and then some of the knit, is it, that's a good price, man. That's a really nice price and this shoe is really well made. I got it for 60 bucks, that's a steal. You can get it for 60 bucks if you guys really wanna scoop that up. So, like I said, check it out, Hibbit Sports. I'll leave a link. Make sure you guys continue to thumb up the videos. Make sure you guys continue to subscribe. Thank you for all the love. I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoot with you. I'm out of here.